Microsoft are one of my favorite day trading or longer term trading stocks at matter. They've treated me well for many years now. In terms of rivals, they're up there with any of them. They're owning Facebook at the moment. Well, they have been for the last few months, but their stock price has come off 15% since the start of the year. So is this part of a bigger sell off or is it a great time to get in and buy that dip? In today's video, I'm going to take a look at the technical analysis and the charts to find out where that price might be heading next. So with that, let's take a look at the numbers. The weekly line chart for Microsoft is certainly an impressive looking chart. It's been a one way street for many years. Now they've had a couple of pullbacks, the biggest beginning of 2020, about 27% as you can see on the chart there. And we can see the current pullback around about 15%, but it is following that trend line upwards. So we're going to watch closely the price action at the moment. Could slip down further to the 61.8% line in the longer term if things turn bearish, about $250. But you know really this is a strong stock and with its history and its you know fundamentals then you wouldn't bet against it moving back upwards if you're looking for reversal entry points you know following that dip back to the long side in the four line break chart might be your bag and uh, more aggressive numbers 30450 we're there, thereabouts at the moment, so we could go straight in there, or we could be a bit more conservative, wait for $313 for, like I said, more conservative upside entry. So what's the daily high Kanashi chart showing us? Well, signals at the bottom, weak bearish, uh, volatility around about its average, 25-26% per annum, volume trading just under its longer term moving. Average heading up onto the price, we can see the pink and light blue two standard deviation regression bands there and you see the price holding pretty much within there until that recent downtrend it's broken out but it is trailing the bottom you know, of that two standard deviation move trying to look back into those bands and currently sell signal as well on the two line pink box breakout system but it's there or thereabouts becoming a sort of a neutral sort of set up at the moment price looking like it's consolidating around about you know this 305 you know 300 area for the Renko chart using a two dollar block size looking a bit more bullish than the Haikanashi chart all our signals turning bullish there down the bottom onto the price it's still trading below the longer term moving average but it's there or thereabouts it's neutral within the two line pink box breakout setup and in terms of targets then yeah you know, upside wise if we can get through this noise then you know 325 340 and then you know breaking through those highs up to the 360 area in the short term could be very possible downside wise if it can't hold here then look for those key fibonacci numbers especially that one looking around about $285. So overall I'm going to give Microsoft based purely on the technical analysis a weak bullish score and the top right two entry points for four and a half three thirteen dollars using that four line break chart. High can actually chart bit mixed Renko far more bullish and if we go into the signals upsides 1.9 to 1 3.9 to 1 downside 1.91 to 1 and 3.73 to 1 but overall a weak bullish situation at the moment watch where that price is heading next and if it starts to look you know like it's going more upwards then i would easily upgrade microsoft to a more bullish outlook for 2022 so is microsoft looking like a buy opportunity well it's certainly warming up nicely to that possibility but time it in with the technicals for the optimal 
trade let me know in the comments below where you think microsoft might be heading next like to hear from you there if you've got any other ideas by the way of stocks or any financial instrument for that matter you would like me to analyze also let me know in those comments below i'll see what i can do and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.